Okay, so I went on a bit of a shopping spree. Let's do this stash count Sundays and see how many I got. Hi guys! Welcome to the very first episode of Stash Count Sundays. Stash Count Sundays is where I try to keep my diamond painting stash under control because I'm rebuilding my stash. I have just finished my entire stash last month in March. Now I'm going to rebuild my stash. But in order to stop myself or to prevent that I just keep on buying everything that I see and I like, which is a really common thing for a lot of us diamond painters, um, I came up with a system. So Stash Count Sundays is all about accountability, guys. Just for you to keep me in check and maybe for me to keep you in check if you want to follow along. So I did an intro for the Stash Count Sundays. I'll put a link up in the eye and of course in the description box below. And there will be a, a playlist for Stash Count Sundays um, because we're going to do this multiple times. This is just the first one, um, so that you can go and check that out. So, after I had finished my detox, which meant that I worked through my entire stash, I could start buying again. So I went on a bit of a shopping spree. But just so, some main things for the stash count system is, my max is a year worth of stash. So that means that my stash can't get above 24 diamond paintings. 24 is just 12 times two, two per month. That's about what I can manage to work on in a year. So that's why I'm holding myself today. I can't have more than 24 in my stash. Okay, so the shopping spree. Because in Stash Count Sundays, what do we do? We're going to see what came in of what I bought, I'm going to put them in the stash count system, which is a logbook system. Also, I made a video about that. Sorry, but this is the first episode, so you get a little bit of background info as well. And we're just going to go about that. And yes, I'm going to tell you how much I spent and how many I bought. I'm not going to show you the actual diamond paintings because that will be in the upcoming videos. So let's just start. And just as a reminder to everyone, no stash shaming. If you're really happy with your stash or if you're like, okay, I only have one at a time. What are you saying about a stash count system? Skip this video. This video isn't for you. Look at my other videos or look at another creator if you think this is ridiculous. This is just for those of you who, like me, love to buy diamond paintings, but are trying to keep themselves a bit under control because there are so many diamond paintings. Okay, so I finished my detox. I did a live on the 7th of March. And in that live, I said that I was going to buy diamond paintings from Jaded Gem Shop, which is a small business in the US. So I ordered because I wasn't able to order during the live. That I'll show you in screen, the a photo of the diamond painting that I ordered, but I ordered two diamond paintings. The other one I'm not going to show you just yet. And the jaded gem shops, um, they are made to order, so that takes some time for you to get them. So they are not here yet. So they are not part of this video apart from me showing you this beautiful diamond painting <laughs> that is coming, but they are going into the system as soon as they arrive. But of course, in my head, I know that they are coming. So they're in here guys, but they're not going to, in, going to go in the system just yet. Only the ones that have arrived and that I've paid for, well, I've paid it for my Jada Gem Shop, but that have arrived and I know the exact costs because I'm in France, so I have import tax, shipping, etc. And that I only know the total amount that I have spent on a kit 
as they arrive at my doorstep. Okay, enough about that. So I'm just going to put the two Jaded Gems shop aside for now. What did I order? Of course, I ordered from Diamond Art Club. My so my first Diamond Art Club order consists of four diamond paintings. I'm just going to hold them like this. Two large squares. And two normal size or middle size Ooh, squares. Look, I'll just put them side to side so you can see the, the length difference. So two large ones and two normal ones. Um, ooh, you're going to see the two normal ones and one large one in my first passion project that's going to start this week so i'll unbox the three of them Their passion project is where i work on diamond paintings with a specific theme so these three are all within a certain theme in the first video i unbox them second video i'll show the halfway point and the third video is the finish so those three the unboxing of those three you will see this week so two medium or normal size and one large and the other large one is for an upcoming passion project but you won't be seeing that for quite a while so the second order i placed was with diamond painting deutschland yes guys i got a josephine wall it's in the familiar tube, a really large one. That's going to be a project, an XL diamond painting. XL diamond paintings, also a new series on my channel. Guys, lots of new things coming. Um, that's going to be XL, extra large, uh, diamond paintings that I'm going to be working on in the background. So I'm going to start with a Josephine wall. That unboxing will also be on my channel this month. So this month you've got four diamond paintings that I'm going to be showing you. Three for my first passion project and my Josephine wall. So, okay, so this makes five. Then I went on to Dreamer Designs. So I have bought three diamond paintings from Dreamer Designs. All three are squares. Oh, I didn't say the Josephine wall is a round one because I have so many squares. Um, these Dreamer designs are upcoming projects. So, the large ones. Also, I have a smaller one. And this one is going to be a full review on my channel. And full review is where I do the unboxing, halfway point and finish in this all in the same video. And Dreamer Designs, this one I picked for Dreamer Designs. But this one will have to wait for a little bit because first I want to show you a full review of a Diamond Art Club. And I have already started on it. But you're like, okay, we've got four plus one is five plus three from Dreamer Designs, which one? Well, ta-da! <laughs> I ordered another one, a large one, Square Diamond Art Club. This is the one that I'm working on already, and it's stunning. And it's so great to work on a Diamond Art Club again. And the difference with the older kids is insane but i'll leave all that for the full review so this will actually be the first diamond painting that you will see finished on my channel i'm working on it already but i think well maybe in may and otherwise in june you'll see this finished so now we've got five diamond art clubs three dreamer designs and one josephine wall from diamond painting deutschland that's nine diamond paintings 
Was my shopping spree over? Yeah, I thought it was. Only I thought, well, I need another round. And I had already one in mind from Diamond Art Club. Um, but then FOMO hit me for a certain painting. So I got another one. Yes, it's a round. It's not that big. It's the normal size. I'm just going to call it normal size. And this is a FOMO kit. It's no longer available. It's already archived. And I was just able to snatch it. This really is a FOMO buy. Um, would I have gotten it otherwise? I don't think at this point. Um, I really had a little bit of buyer remorse. Because I actually wanted another diamond painting. And I only bought this because I knew it was going to be archived. Um... But I'm really happy. I've already shown a sneak peek to the friends of the channel. Um, but this is going to be a full review diamond painting as well. And well, probably somewhere during the summer. I don't know. Not for a while though, but it's around and it's pretty. So that's kit number 10. And on we go. No, <laughs> just kidding. 10. 10 kits. So I've got 10 diamond paintings in my stash. Six diamond art clubs, three dreamer designs, and one diamond painting Deutschland. Okay. What did I pay? Because it's nice that you have some diamond paintings in your stash and you know what you're doing, but how much did I spend? Okay, I'm going to show it in screen. So that you can see it. This is how much I spent in my first shopping spree. So this is how much it costs to buy 10 diamond paintings. And you can see the most expensive one is the Josephine Wall. Uh, but that's just a really large diamond painting and they are pricier. And also for me, the shipping isn't even that much because I'm in Europe. So if you were to order that from the United States, the shipping would be a lot higher and for you the price would be higher. But for me it goes the same way, other way around when I order from the small businesses in the US. Okay, so guys, my first shopping spree alone. And yes, I have 10 diamond paintings, but still 751 euros and 80 three cents okay 10 down <laughs> 14 to go and the price that you see i already took out the the coupon codes that i use and the shipping everything is in it so this this actually is the total amount of what i paid to get those diamond paintings here so now i'm going to flip the camera and put you in the overhead position. And now I'm going to show you how I'm going to put these 10 diamond paintings into my stash count system. Okay guys, so here's the logbook system. Uh, I showed this entire system in a separate video. I'll put a link up in the eye and in the description box below. We don't need this one yet. We just need the stash count. Uh, the, the main binder, that's for the 24. And as I had shown in my last, uh, in the intro video, I did three dividers, completed whip and stash. So for now, we're going to put these in. So I have six diamond art clubs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are going in. So that's stash, just like that. Then I have one diamond painting Deutschland, that's yellow for the small businesses, that's seven. And then I have three Dreamer Designs, Dreamer Designs got the pink. And then I have two jaded gem shops that I have ordered but I haven't received them yet so they are not going into the system yet but I have made them so that I know that they exist 
So now there are 10 diamond paintings in here. Only thing is guys, I said stash, but as I have said, I'm working on one already. So this one is going in here. And you're like, okay, why don't I see anything on it? Well, because I'm not going to tell you which one I'm working on yet. As I have said, Wednesday will be the start of my diamond painting passion project. I will use three Diamond Art Club kits. One, two, three. So next week I'll show you how I put the stickers on it and then these three go from stash to whip. And just some fun things that I have to keep it interesting for myself. So this is the card that you have seen in screen also but I printed it out and wrote in everything down. So there's the total for April. I'm just going to put them in the front. It's just for me. And it's also that I know that I have 10 diamond paintings. Then I have made this. Stash count 24. So I have bought 10 diamond paintings. So my jar is filled up till 10 just to just have fun guys, just like with a journal. I'm going to put this one in, it's just for me. I like that, those kind of things. And then I have also this buying tracker <laughs> for 24 diamond paintings. And this is what I bought in March. So I bought 10 diamond painting in March and the color coding I wrote on the back. Diamond Art Club, Diamond Painting, Deutschland Dreamer Designs. So those are just some thoughts for how you can play with this, guys. And then the last one, and that's one I'm going to put with the whips. That's this one. You just need to entertain yourself a bit. I'm not putting the name in yet because this is going to be a full review. But at home, of course, you can put the name of your whips. One quarter done, two quarters done. This will be three quarters done and this you can fill in the entire round once you have finished it. And you can do it for multiple whips. And I have put one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Also a nice idea. So I'm going to put that in here. So that is what I have so far guys. So next week we're going to update this and show you other things. If you want to do this yourself in the next clip where I talk with my face in screen again, <laughs> I'll just explain what you need to do at home. Okay, back to me. Okay, so now I have everything in my stash count system. What if you want to join me? Okay, the thing that I would recommend is look at the diamond paintings that you have bought in this year so since january put them in art more than 10 then select select 10 from those diamond paintings and put them in the system if you haven't bought that many diamond paintings just put the ones that you did buy then go into your stash and add either whips so works in progress or diamond paintings from your stash up till 10 into your system so you've got a nice beginning we're going to fill up the system in the coming weeks of course if you want you can already fill it up to 24 and just go from there but if you want to follow along with me and no i'm not going to go on shopping sprees the whole time don't worry um <laughs> i hope but um, so we've got a nice start of 10 and next week I'm going to be showing you because this week I'm going to show you the passion project start. So next week I'm going to put those stickers into the system and put those paintings as whips into the system. So you can see how that works within the logbook system. I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions questions 
put them below. Um, just find your own way with this. Uh, it's just to give you some ideas and to hold me accountable. And the most important part is the spending. Track your spendings. Because that's the only thing that will make you go, hmm. <laughs> At least it did for me. And also, what also really helps is the diamond painting that I'm working on is a large diamond painting. Um, get out one of your large diamond paintings if you, if you have bought one and look at it. Because as I opened it, I was like, oh, that's going to take me a while. And that also gave me some... Uh, it helped it helped me not to buy not to buy want to buy more so maybe just if you if you need those kinds of things well i have the same issue the other thing is diamond art club almost got me because they had a, i got an email where they said we have an overstock sale buy two get one free and of course i was tempted and went to the website and looked at the stock list and well I've got a lot of diamond paintings on my wish list and there were a couple of them in there and I the ones that I really wanted I put them in my cart and then I stopped and was like okay do I need them now no so is it just a trigger of the feeling like I'm getting a deal yes so I put them back I put, uh, kept them out of my cart and stopped. Really proud of myself that I resisted. So if you've got little wins like that to share, put them in the comments below. I would really like to know if you've got the same issue or if you have the same uh, temptations. Um, and also if you give in to temptations, don't go like, okay, well now it's done, I can just buy whatever I want because I, have, I haven't resisted the temptation. No, just get back on and try again. Okay? We're just trying here, people. <laughs> That's all we're, we're doing. We're just trying. So next week I'll be back. I don't know if I've got some new diamond paintings um, that we need to add to the stash. At least there are three paintings that will be going from the stash into the whips within the system. So I'm going to show you that. And um, well, let's just take it from there, guys. If you like this series or if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you've got any suggestions, questions, as I have said, leave them in the comments. Guys, have a great Sunday and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Diamond Heart Clubs.